Hi guys, <clears throat> Doug here again from Newswire. Now you know one of the things I love about my job is I get to read your news releases. Uh, not only do I le learn a lot about the news and what's going on, but every now and then I find something out that I didn't know about my own system and a way to make things a little bit better. You know, just such a thing happened the other day. Uh, let me show you. This little news release right here, uh, nice little story, but when I looked at it, I saw something I'd never seen before. Uh, clicking around on this thing, I saw a Google Map. I'd never seen a Google Map embedded in a news release before. So I asked the author if he'd share with us how it was done. He, uh, he did, and I want to give it to you in a little video presentation here so that you can uh, use this yourselves for your local clients especially. So, all we have to do really to make this work for us is go to Google Maps. And uh, that's just maps.google.com. And uh, what we're going to do when we get there is we'll enter in the address or the name even of the business that we want to uh, find. So we're going to go for a little dentist that I go to. His name is Dana Walters. If we enter Dana Walters in here, Google's going to find him for us, give us his address. Uh, he's already got a, pay, a place page that's optimized, so it comes up well. If he doesn't, it would still come up uh, with the address and a nice little map. So if you haven't done that yet for him, maybe you need to do that. But if we have a little map here, uh, we can then kind of adjust the size of the map just using their standard tools here. We'll zoom in a little bit because we're going to presume that everybody that's looking for this kind of knows our way around Columbus. So we'll zoom in a little bit here. And by the way, we can look at it a whole bunch of different ways. We can look at it as a map. We can look at it as an earth shot. We can do all the different things that, uh, you know, that we're, we can normally do with a map like this. So we can adjust it. Let's say we want to look at it like this. Uh, you know, it really doesn't matter how we want to do it. We'll zoom in until we get it to about the size that we want it to be. That's good. It locates the freeway, locates a big crossroad. So once we have the map the way we want to find it, it couldn't be any easier. We find this little link button up here. We hit the link button, and Google gives us a couple different possibilities. We can take the link as it is. We can shorten uh, the URL a little bit. We don't need to do that. What we need to concentrate on is pasting the HTML into a website. Now for all intents and purposes, the bottom of your news release uh, editor, the media box down there, works like your own web page. We can put uh, HTML in there, we can do just about anything we want, including putting iframes in. So we notice that that's exactly what uh, they're offering us here is an iframe. Uh, we just need to make sure it's the right size. So uh, let's customize and preview. And uh, this is about what uh, I hoped we'd find here. Uh, let's change the size because remember, everything that gets in that uh, little box over there needs to be 300 pixels wide. So we'll make it 300 wide. Uh, let's leave the height the same. In fact, let's even make it uh, just a little bit bigger just for kicks and giggles. And so that's what our little map looks like right now. Now, as we've adjusted that map to be what we want it to be, uh, all we have to do then is go back and uh, learn how to use my computer but uh, what we're going to do here is basically just grab the code that, that uh, Google puts in here. We'll highlight it, we'll copy it, and uh, then let's uh, go make ourselves a news article. So we're going to go back here into our article management page. We'll add a new article. We'll title it Dana Walters. Uh, we can, of course, put all the different things in it, but, but for the purpose of adding this map, we want to concentrate on this embedded video, this little, little uh, embed spot at the bottom. So we're just going to copy and paste uh, that code that we picked from Google into this little spot here. Uh, of course, we should have a, you know, some more information here, but I think it'll still show us kind of how it will sit on the page even without anything in it. We'll save it. We'll go back to article management. We'll preview it by hitting that little button there. And there it is. Uh, so of course if this were a real news release we'd have our article body here and uh, in this little spot here we would be looking at our little news release and uh, that's how it'll sit on the page there. We've got our little map, the uh, rest of the information sitting out here. 
It's of course clickable. We can get directions. We can search nearby. We can do all the things that uh, Google lets you do from their Google Maps. Well, again, that's about as easy as it, as easy as it is. We just need to remember to go to maps.google.google.com. We can search by either address or by the name of the business. It works just fine either way. Once we have it, uh, we go to the little link up here. We can again adjust it any way we want. We go to the link. We select uh, embed. We customize it and make it 300 wide. Copy and paste it into the media box at the bottom of your news release writer and uh, your next news release will have a little embedded map and just be as cute as it can be. Hope you enjoy that and uh, thanks David for sharing.